Hello YouTube and welcome back to this mini bike build. So today, as you guys can see, there is no back axle or anything to do with the back end whatsoever. In fact, there is no engine and my forks are not on currently either. So today's project is going to be getting this guy mounted on there. After that, we'll see what's going to come up and see how this whole project flows. So what's going to be what we need to do first is cut out several brackets like this. They are for getting the suspension, the spring, the shock absorber, and going right above there just like this. These will then just go straight onto the back of the mini bike on there on the uh, on that frame. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, my frame will not just collapse upwards because if it collapses upwards, well, I'll be on the middle of the road doing, ah, help me, I'm going to get run over by a car. Anyway, so let's see how this goes. All we need to do is build up a couple more of these, and that should be pretty much it for the mounting of the back, uh, for the back, uh, whatever you call those things, um, the rear swing arm. So, yeah, see you guys when I've done that. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, I dropped all the things I made. Oh well, what a shame. It seems that one has turned into multiple. Yay, and somehow they're different sizes as well. Look at that. So now, we can mount up this swing arm, hopefully, if they are the right sizes. Because as I said, these just fell out of thin air. Anyway, so hopefully we can mount that up on here. And once we've done that, um, I guess the wheel's going to go on. Building an engine plate is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but let me not get too carried away from it now, let me give you an overview. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because the engine has to move obviously to tension the chain, as you guys know very well. But, this thing here is so wide, and of course, I live in England, so Go Power Sports just doesn't exist around here. So, actually, what we're not going to do is build it out of a plate of steel, because the plate of steel is just a pain in the ass to make, it's very heavy, and it's just, it's a piece of crap. No offence to anyone who uses a plate of steel. Anyway, so what we are going to use is I have a couple of, they're somewhere up there-ish. I have a couple of old sliders from a mobility scooter seat, which would have been used to move some old person forwards and backwards so they can reach the pedals of their mobility scooter, or the handlebars, whatever. So, I ripped apart a mobility scooter quite a long time ago. Sorry to the guy who owned it. I definitely didn't steal out your front garden. The, these sliders will just go in here, in these gaps here, which will go onto the bottom of this engine right here. So, now that you've got a brief overview of this, you guys can watch me tack up these little mount things, which will be just for this. Hey guys, in this episode, I've screwed up. So... What I've done is I've mounted up this mount here, this here mount thingy my body for my swing arm. First of all, it's upside down. So I don't know what my brain was thinking at nine o'clock at night last night or the night whenever I did this, but this is upside down. Where it says up is somehow facing down. After careful consideration, I've decided actually it's better this way up. But, also what I've noticed is that if you get your set square here and align it just up here, just with this, this side is perfectly 90 degrees, right? That's all perfect. That's brilliant. But this side, however, this side is far off 90 degrees. And I think my fit, and also by the way, the distance between the top here and the bottom here is completely even. My theory is, is that I didn't account for my two bits of pipe being slightly triangular. So if they continued in a, in a straight line here, they'd end up in an apex somewhere up there-ish. So, it's time for some tea and a careful consideration of what I'm going to do next. So, luckily it's all tucked in. And some lovely tea. Okay, so, 
yeah, I'm gonna cut this up and re-weld it. So guys, I've done all the adjusting up. It's in one or two millimeters of each other. Um, I think that's the tolerance we're gonna be going for for this mini bike. So honestly, it's just a little bit confusing. But I think this will be pretty much perfect and we're about to lay our founding tacks. Ah, oh, damn, my thing isn't on. God damn it. Ow, my eyes. All right, take two. That's much better, now I can actually see. So, um, got one tack done up and we need to put a tack down here and down here. Lovely. Founding tacks have been laid. Okay, so we're going to reinforce this and I'm going to try and figure out how I'm going to put on the swing arm because that is the next step and it's all going to be tacked so no permanent welds so don't come after me in the comments so if there are any. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's cool. So we've, in the last clip you saw me, actually no you didn't see me, I've welded up these things here, and these are for the swing arm. What I ended up having to do is, unfortunately, I had to slightly overbore this side. But, oh well, it's it's fine. I think, I think it'll be fine. And I do need to order a longer M10 bolt, because it's not long enough. Anyway, so um, the next thing I have to do is the suspension. So as you guys have probably seen, or the more observant of you guys, will have noticed that it is in fact zip tied on while this seems like a very while this seems like a good solution something that I would do in everyday life obviously somehow I don't think you guys will have noticed but it is not a permanent solution so in fact this does need welding to this frame Hey guys, all in all, I am really happy with what came out here with the back suspension. I absolutely love it. I think this bike is absolutely enormous right now. Much bigger than I thought it would be. Anyway, I'm going to cut it short because my camera battery is going to die. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like and a subscribe. Uh, yeah, see ya.